What's up everybody, welcome to Money Management channel. My name is Andrei and today I'm gonna be doing an update on MMTLP and FINRA saga. And uh, for today's video guys, I have uh, several quite interesting news. First of all, I will show you how the bankruptcy of Meta Materials uh, might affect uh, the MMTLP shareholders and how you can mitigate uh, your losses if uh, you hold uh, Meta Materials stocks. On top of that, uh, I will give you an update from Scott Roth in regards uh, to the value uh, to the share price of uh, Nextbridge Hydrocarbons. And I have to admit that uh, $1,300 of share price uh, is uh, nowhere near to the real price that might be used uh, in litigations and I will show you my point of view on this issue. On top of that, uh, I will show you quite interesting update uh, from uh, Rare DD and uh, I will show you his due diligence in regards to the violation of SEC rules. And at the end of this video, I will show you that Gary Gensler uh, will appear before the Congress uh, somewhere next month. And potentially we might anticipate uh, some tricky questions uh, that might be related to our case as well. So, and before we dive deep into all of this, guys, please hit the like button for YouTube algorithm and drop me a line in the comment section for whatever reasons you want. And let's start with the news itself. Uh, John Savvy wrote this tweet just several hours ago and uh, John Burda reposted it. Meta Materials files 8K announcing bankruptcy. All executive and board of directors removed. Company in the hands of receiver. And here's the direct speech. As a result of the bankruptcy filing chapter 7 trustee will be appointed to the bankruptcy court and uh, will administer the company's bankruptcy estate including liquidating the assets of the company in accordance with the bankruptcy court. Once a Chapter 7 trustee is appointed, an initial hearing for creditors will be scheduled and the note of bankruptcy case filing will be sent to non-creditors. A link to uh, Wes Christian space where he discusses bankruptcy, assets and uh, trading data. And she added the link uh, to the space call. Guys, I have to say that uh, it uh, was uh, quite expectable news. We know that uh, Meta is not the best company right now, especially under the management of uh, the new uh, people uh, of the new board of directors. And definitely right after this news, uh, the sheer price of uh, Meta materials uh, drastically dropped to the level below $1 mark. And guys, uh, how this uh, case might affect uh, the MMTLP shareholder? It cannot, basically, but uh, a lot of people who hold uh, Nextbridge Hydrocarbon shares and previously uh, MMTLP shares and previously TRCH shares also have uh, some shares of Meta Materials. And if you want to mitigate uh, your losses, uh, guys, take a look right here. What did Mark Basile write? So, uh, he said, uh, filed uh, 16 hours ago, he wrote, MMAT filed a Chapter 7 in Nevada Bankruptcy Court. Remember, last year I said someone needed to sue Meta Material. Who was it again that pushed back uh, hard on lawsuits? Every day that went by hard uh, those holders. Polycarus. Guys, quite interesting tweet uh, and I have to say that Mark Basile uh, pretty much the only, is the only lawyer who tried to uh, ask George Polycarus uh, in regards to the MMAT issue. And uh, he also added that uh, the, his company filed uh, the uh, case against uh, Meta Materials. On top of that, he wrote this. Uh, have any chance uh, on getting any money back from MMAT? Uh, all securities uh, will be cancelled as a matter of law, and unless a party intervenes on behalf of shareholder or creditors, all assets will be lost. You can fight this, but you will need to move quickly. Time is now against its shareholders. It's been ticking down for more than a year. And he published this tweet uh, on uh, August the 9th, basically just a couple of hours ago. And I have to say that uh, pretty much the only way how you can uh, uh, mitigate your losses is to file a lawsuit. And if you uh, want to do it, uh, just hire a lawyer. I don't encourage you to hire Mark Basile, but definitely it is up to you. Uh, and uh, he's, uh, he's quite an uh, experienced person in this case uh, in particular. But in general... If you don't have any MMTLP, MMAT shares, uh, it will not affect uh, the MMTLP case at all. 
So let's move forward and let me show you that uh, uh, another news that was uh, filed just recently by Metamaterials is not so positive. Uh, as you can see, Arno reposted the tweet that was published by, by Meta News, uh, and uh, it says Breaking news! Short sellers win again. Meta Materials lawyers announced in May they have found significant information uh, to move forward with the lawsuit regarding naked short selling. Today, Meta Materials files bankruptcy and terminates all executives and employees. Not that long ago, the company introduced new board of directors and chairman, then the board uh, of directors terminated the CEO. Was the new board of directors uh, malicious actors trying to cover up the MMTLP and MMTLP MMAT counterfeit shares? Please repost if you are in any stock to spend uh, uh, the word of corruption. And guys, I have to say that uh, unfortunately uh, this fight uh, for metamaterials uh, is over. And Metamaterials uh, is a loser in this case, but uh, it doesn't mean that uh, MMTLP case uh, is similar to this one. And let me show you why I think so. We basically still have a couple of uh, uh, lawsuits uh, on the table. One of them is the lawsuit uh, uh, from Mark Basil, and the second one uh, is uh, from Scott Trott. And let me quote you his update. Uh, today's over uh, caffeinated uh, extremism and introduction of more animals into the wild. 1. Open communication with U.S. Attorney's Office Vermont re in regards to Trot vs. Rubinstein as a witness uh, will testify with audio and visual evidence that Schwab was forewarned on December the 8th of 2022 about U3 Halt and Schwab was already taking steps uh, to prepare for the insulate themselves uh, from the effects of the U3 nuke on MMTLP. Witness wants uh, full immunity. Witness has other evidence of relationship between Schwab and major market maker. The conversations are unclear as to exactly who, but it uh, appears from a subsequent day's trading activity that it had to be GTS and RICO circumstantial evidence that stocks eyeball high is good enough to grey trading in MMTLP that started in October 2021. Total audio is over 4 minutes. Uh, Witness also has trade screens from Schwab, showing Schwab sold 6.4 million short MMTLP at 11 am Eastern Time on December 8th of 2022. These were never closed. 2. Continue to develop Plan C to get uh, the almost holy trinity Texas, Louisiana, Missouri, of Dixie AGs uh, to get uh, in a room and issue state subpoenas for the blue sheets to all the broker dealers dealing in MMTLP that had clients in each state. And guys, I have to say that as you can see, uh, Scott Trott uh, is not acting in one direction only. He tries uh, to develop several plans and here is the plan C. So, and the third, the third bullet point is following. Finish red cell and white cell analysis to compute uh, to uh, resource value of uh, next bridge hydrocarbons and MMGLP. Looks like we finally have uh, red cell numbers. Some nice folks uh, busy at the last two days. And the retired brand trust uh, from uh, Maritime's Northeast uh, will finish uh, off white cell challenges uh, to my ADOC and bias with the red cells calculation. I'm no longer at uh, $1,275 a share. Well, not even close. So white needs to attack widely optimistic valuations, so the judge doesn't sign a court order to put me in a room where I can't quite stand up and can't quite sit down. More to follow. So guys, as you can see, he changed his mind uh, in regards to the share price and uh, his previous est estimation was at uh, $1,275. And guys, I knew basically that uh, it was uh, a little bit higher numbers compared to the reality. Because uh, let me show you my video that I published four months ago. Uh, it was uh, published on March 18th, uh, where I made uh, this uh, title $442 plus dollars a share. And guys, in this video, I showed you the price that might be used uh, in litigations uh, based on cal calculations that were made uh, back in the days uh, by uh, Tony, Tony Tweets, and uh, based uh, on uh, my estimation of uh, oil and gas prices. 
And uh, this uh, share price, uh, in my opinion, is uh, much closer to reality than uh, Scott's uh, uh, about uh, $1,300. But uh, guys, if you want to know uh, the uh, calculations behind the scenes, uh, please watch this video that was published uh, on my channel on March 18th. 442 will be the key to find this video. On top of that, guys, we know that uh, everything uh, happens on the market uh, with the knowledge of authorities. And let me show you this tweet that was uh, uh, made by Christian Shaughnessy just several hours ago. Uh, she wrote, uh, make it uh, make sense. Why is Nasdaq proposing the rule changes that will help naked shorts destroy small public companies instead of demanding regulators enforce trade settlements? The proposed rule changes uh, would further protect naked shorts who have flooded the financial markets with counterfeit shares. The naked shorts try to drown companies by pushing them under $1 mark, e even if they have to create millions of counterfeit shares to do it. That uh, makes it very hard for any company to operate. And now it appears Nasdaq wants to finish the job by holding those companies underwater by delisting them when they go under $1 mark. If a company is delisted, short positions go away too, even if uh, they've created millions and millions of counterfeit shares. This comes after Virtu Financials recently made a similar proposal to the SEC. Virtu is one of the market makers being sued by Northwest Biotherapeutics for allegedly manipulating the market to try and destroy the brain cancer vaccine company. We are waiting for the judge to rule on the defendant's motion to dismiss. Is it just a coincidence that NWBO is one of the approximately 400 companies under a dollar the view to end Nasdaq proposals would force an WBO to delist? And remember, David News has requested Congress and regulators demand view to trading records, accusing the market maker of manipulation. A link uh, to that tweet below. Nasdaq is taking steps to purge itself of uh, dubious companies those shares trade below $1 each, following criticism that the exchange has become uh, home to hundreds of risky penny stocks. And guys, we know that these actions uh, were made uh, by major market makers and uh, by authorities. Authorities definitely is not uh, the real part of this case, but they are trying to uh, look uh, for another so-called mysterious crimes and they are uh, basically, they are looking uh, in completely opposite direction. And that is why, guys, in my opinion, they know about this issue and they don't want to do anything to solve it. So, let me show you another quite interesting update from RareGD. And you know that uh, we had an issue with MMTLP shares in regards to two QCIP numbers. And one of these QCIP numbers was reused by another company uh, basically, it, uh, its sticker symbol is BTC, BTTC. So, he wrote, When is the SEC gonna address uh, by tech uh, we using the Torchlight QCIP? Isn't that a big deal? I asked AI. Can a QCIP be reused by another company? What should regulators do if they found out a company is reusing the QCIP uh, of a former company? And guys, all of the answers you can find in uh, his uh, uh, screenshots, but uh, the long story short, uh, one QCIP number cannot be assigned for two companies and cannot be reused by another company. It is a pure violation of SEC rules. On top of that, take a look on this uh, tweet. He wrote uh, following. Uh, there is a company reusing a TRCH QCIP, a clear violation, but the SEC is doing nothing. FINRA clearly broke their own rule 6490 when they went beyond reviewing and processing uh, the MMTLP corporate action forcing changes to dates, etc., then amending the corporate action without issuer input. But the SEC is doing nothing. The MMAT board of directors forced out Polycorus and purposely allowed patents to expire while selling away assets for pennies uh, on a dollar, now filing the for bankruptcy, potentially eliminating the possibility that shareholders will ever receive anything. But the only time the SEC steps in is when they perceived the actions of John Burda and Polycross uh, as a peer to jeopardize uh, the positions of short sellers, those uh, that wanted to interfere with long-term shareholder value. And uh, guys, uh, this uh, is quite interesting actions why FINRA and SEC 
do nothing in order to solve this problem. And uh, as I already mentioned, they are looking in the completely opposite direction. And guys, here is another possibility for us as a community, uh, as a community members. Uh, uh, Jung Sebi wrote this uh, just yesterday, and she said, SEC and Gary Gensler appears before the House Financial Services and uh, Senate Banking Committees next month. Wonder what they are going, uh, what they are going to talk about. And she refers to the tweet that was uh, published by Eleanor Turret, and she wrote. Hearing that everyone's favorite SEC Chairman Gary Gensler will appear before the House Financial Service and Senate Banking Committee next month. To be determined on the date, but it will be around two months before a very contentious, politically charged election, where Gensler and the SEC have actually become campaign issues themselves. So, those questions will be interesting. And this is another potential way how we can ask our question, but definitely we have uh, to contact uh, these two committees and uh, we have to give them more information in regards to our case. And guys, let me tell you my personal story. I have a wife and two children aged 11 and uh, 15, as well as a small dog. After 30 years of living in Russia near the Baikal Lake, we decided to move. Now we reside in Serbia. Although I don't own any MMTLP shares, I invest a lot of time creating daily MMTLP videos. I have been doing this every day without days off and holidays for more than one and a half years. Now I wish to buy back this time from my family, from my children. We've agreed that I will ask the MMTLP community to support me and I will give all the money to the children. Therefore, if you believe that I am providing useful content for you and uh, wish to support me, you can join my Patreon account. For $5 a month, I will add your name to my list of supporters if you wish. Thank you in advance. The link you can find in the description below. So, I think that's all information that I want to provide you. If you like my video, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. And see you guys and girls next time. Bye! I got the cash in the bag, stadium pack Born a rock star in this life, gone live it up on the attack Baby, I'm bad, I just wanna get caught up in this life I'm crazy, I'm bad, doing no cap, only God wants you